Today we are going to be talking about peanut allergy development in children. Hello Mrs. Larkin, how can I help you today? Hi Dr. Nielsen, this is my daughter Zara and she is now 8 months old and I have started to think more about her diet. We wanted to give her peanut butter as a small snack, but we're worried about any implications this may have on her becoming allergic. How old does Zara need to be before we introduce her to peanuts? That's a great question, Mrs. Larkin. First, let me begin by explaining about how a person actually develops an allergy. An allergy is an overreaction of your body's immune system to something that is normally harmless. These normally harmless products usually include common household items such as milk, eggs, and peanuts. When you have a peanut allergy, an antibody called immunoglobulin E is specific for peanuts and binds to cells in your body called mast cells. The next time your body comes across those peanut IgEs, a reaction happens, releasing compounds that cause your symptoms. Some people's peanut allergies can potentially be very dangerous and can have a reaction called anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis results in symptoms like shortness of breath and swelling and can potentially be fatal. The most common way to treat this reaction is through an EpiPen which contains the hormone epinephrine. That's really interesting, but when should Zara actually have peanuts? Now, the decisions that I make when I practice as a doctor are always impacted by scientific and clinical studies. My impact study by Toad and colleagues from the New England Journal of Medicine in 2015 collected data from 640 children. The newborns with sustained exposure to peanuts after 11 months of age had much lower prevalence of peanut allergy development than those who avoided peanuts. Essentially, try to introduce peanuts to her diet before Zara is one year old. This is a complex matter, however, where generalities don't always apply and everyone should always consult with their pediatrician about introducing any kind of food that may be an allergy risk to their newborn. So what will happen if I wait until Zara is older before introducing her to peanuts? Great question! For many years, pediatricians advised for children to avoid peanuts until the age of three. This delay in peanut consumption, however, didn't help and that recommendation was dropped back in 2008. This was when researchers found a tenfold higher rate of peanut allergy development among babies that were not fed peanuts during infancy versus babies that started consuming peanuts earlier in infancy. Oh no! So that means all babies that don't have peanuts in their early months are going to have the allergy? Although making peanuts a part of your baby's regular diet will actually build tolerance, a child is not doomed to have a peanut allergy if they are 16 to 36 months old before introduction to the diet, just at a higher predisposition. Makes sense. Based on what I know about Zara's health, I can introduce peanuts to her diet freely, which will lead to a lower chance of her developing an allergy versus waiting. Thank you so much for your help. I'll always be sure to check in with my pediatrician before introducing food to Zara that poses an allergy risk, since generalities don't always apply to my child. Hope you enjoyed this video, and remember to subscribe to the Demystifying Medicine channel for more interesting topics. Thanks for watching!